All right. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everybody. So I just wanted to come real quick, and uh, I'm really, really trying my best. You know, I'm trying my best uh, to be quiet. I'm trying my best to adhere to the new rules that we've been given. I'm trying my best to understand our press freedoms if at all they exist, our freedom of expression, if at all it exists. You see, <clears throat> I just feel me as a, as a citizen of this country, right now I feel threatened, okay? My life feels threatened because I have been told I will be shot. I'll be told if I, if I, if I protest, if I cause anarchy, I'll be shot. Protesting is now anarchy. You see, my fellow youths, the other day, two of my youths, they are not even affiliated to me. They went to get permission and they were arrested for getting permission. You see? So for me, I think, uh, I just feel like the government is, is misunderstanding us. The government is misunderstanding Zambians. Zambians just want to talk. Zambians just want to talk. And I think to, to Honorable Boman Lusambo, to Honorable, all the Honorables, all of you are Honorable, huh? to the President, no one wants to threaten the President. No one has insulted the President. No one. Why would anyone do that? You see? But I think, and I've just read the, the statement by, by uh, Biflo. I heard about that reporting earlier on, but I hadn't spoken to Biflo. And I've tried calling, calling Biflo. I can't reach Biflo. Okay? I wanted to hear from him exactly what happened. But he has put out a press, press statement. Therefore, I can now talk as a Zambian. Because I don't like talking before I hear. So now that he has put out a press statement, I understand what Biflo went to do. Uh, what Biflo went to do at State House. Okay? So I don't want to judge Biflo. I don't want to judge what Biflo is within his human rights to reconcile. There is even no reconciliation because there was no war. When Jonas Savimbi reconciled, with, when you need to reconcile with the Angolan government, there was war. When Frederick Glenn reconciled with Nelson Mandela, there was apartheid. But in Zambia, there is no war. There is peace in Zambia. So there is no need to reconcile because nobody is uh, nobody's, uh, fighting. See? No one is fighting. So for me, my question to State House is, why did you just invite Biflo? Why did you just invite Biflo? Not that we are crying to go to State House. We know where State House is. We've been to State House. No, yeah, technically. We passed through Independence, Addis Ababa, Los Angeles. That's kind of, we've been to State House. You see? Why didn't you invite all of us to State House? And in fact, me, I don't want to be invited to State House. I don't want to come to State House. Me, I want to meet Honorable Boman Lusambo with other youths to talk about issues that concern us. Banange, please. Eh? Nangutapa soswa. Eh? I'm begging. I'm on my knees. How do you want me to show that I'm not insulting? Eh? How do you want me to show that I'm not insulting? Surely. Hmm? We just have concerns. We are not safe right now. We are being threatened to be shot at right now for demonstrating. Hmm? In my own country, I'm threatened. Kula enda fikwati kabolala. Carrying everything on you. Eh, eh, voters card, eh, tenant agreement, lease agreement. I'm even belong to Zambia. We know that Boma ni Boma. Boma yanga nepo pankani. You know? Just call us, invite us to State House. No, not State House. Me, I don't want to talk at State House. Yeah? If we are to Arifuma Kukombon sana, we come to State House there, we we'll start admiring those two animals. No, uza wa bandana, wa press aid, ati nipai reko ka moz, ni shock. We come to State House, you distract us. You distract us. Call us at Nakatindi Hoa at Civic Center. Call us at a neutral place and listen. It's just listening, but nay. It's just, you know, 
We feel threatened. I feel threatened. And if anything happens to me, guys, I've told you, I feel threatened in my own country. I'm not even lying to you. I feel threatened. Because that head made me cry the other day. Hmm? But now you are dividing us. I told you, we don't all have a daddy relationship with anybody. The only relationship some of us have is our NRC. It's our NRC. There are many other millions of youths in Zambia who don't even know any number of even a counselor or in a midwife at their clinic. All they have is the same government facilities. You know, sick, I go to a private clinic. There are people there who, when they are sick, they prescribe for them. That to watch a 15 way for a book, they don't have. Hmm? This is not politics, Vane. Nanguta Pasoswa. So please, me, I'm appealing, I'm appealing, I'm appealing to the president of Zambia. Meet the youths of Zambia, Dad. Meet the youths of Zambia. Chi government complex, kirikiti, kirikiti, just, yeah, chi government complex, just come and hear the young people. They have nothing, they are unarmed. They are unarmed and they are not, they are not threatening anyone. Now we are calling him, I told you, I'm going to state house, I'm going to pizza in. I will even forget my name. I will even forget my name. But that is not what we want. And Honorable Usambo and the press aid of state house, why didn't you call all of us? Now we are there are many of us, many of us, many organizations, and don't even call Mubita now. Just call. You know, when there was a path site, they did what they called a truth and reconciliation committee, eh? where they did the uh, open hearings. People would come and say, my name is so-and-so, I've killed so-and-so, I'm asking for, forg for forgiveness. And South Africa was able to heal from a terrible point because everybody was honest about everything. Ah, we sure in nakangi wa. Ine ni chalo changa chabe chamine chino cheni di nacho. Nidibe kuinangu. It's not like watate ni wako Angola, wamai ni wako Malawi, that maybe I have other citizenship. Chalo changa ni chamine chino. Hmm? So, ine, ni kuuze nchabe. If you are going to call Mubita Nawa, ine, as Mubita Christopher Nawa, make it live. Put it on live. Me, I want a record. Because, tipe mpachabe mutimvede. Ine, 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 ngatisimu za, kosa ni itana na kunita. Don't even call me for any meeting. Because, me, I just want to be heard. That's all. Right now, I'm threatened, Zambians. I feel threatened in my own country. Manje tizamba kuyopa ulo wakawala la wabwela. You know there are some laws that are very difficult. For example, there is a funny law in Zambia, right? If you are driving and you hit somebody, hit muawabunka muntu parod. There is a funny law. Uja muntu kampeleka ku police. Because you can't take that person to the hospital directly. Kambi di goma afuna ku police. There is a funny law. If you are not careful, so for me, I just came to appeal to the president, to Honorable Bowman Lusambo. But tinakula kuidani ndi sevana wano. But meet us, mutimvere chape. Mutimvere chape as young people in Zambia. We love this country. It's our only country. Tilibe kuina nguko enda. We can't even seek asylum. We say, they will just say, ah, we will have a new winangu. Mm. So I just came to to speak to all of us, youths. Uh, you know, I'm not going to comment on, on B Flow. That's my brother. He's my friend. I have his number. I've just tried calling him now. He hasn't answered. And because he has put out a press statement, that's why I've come on to speak. So let's not judge him. He has a right to meet them. He has a right to meet. It is, if we are fighting for freedom of expression, B Flow has a right also to express himself, to associate with you, anybody. That is his prerogative. So I'm not here to comment about B Flow, but I'm here to comment about the government. Call all of us. Don't separate us. Don't divide us. Call all of us. Eh? Call all of us.
because in, in a marriage or mwana ni wamchikwati mwana ni opeza mo decisions must be made with all the children so that's all guys let us stay focused let us not condemn others let us encourage one another but me i'm just appealing to the government to reassure us that we are safe that we are safe we can move around in our country we can share our different divergent views in our country and we can hold opinions the same way that a pf kada has freedom of expression to wear party regalia apanga mwine sheti na na pf uniform toloshi pf uniform a kamkat pf uniform half slip pf uniform that is their freedom of expression they have that right that is the same way I have a, a right to talk about God. But if I go to the police and I ask for a permit to protest and I'm arrested, then he, that means he, I don't have uh, the freedoms that I, are guaranteed. You see? So please, for me, that's all I came to say today and to reassure you that this is our country and to really appeal to the leadership of the nation. Whether you like us or you don't like us, we are Zambians. It's so what you can do now is bring us all together. Saturday we can come. Oh no, just me mumbita now. Tell me, okay now. Walanda sana machuandi. Kaidi mumkamba maniki chivemba. Walanda sana machuandi. So uh, organize your people. Uh, organize a conference. The president is coming. I'm also coming. They will come from southern province. They will come. All of the transport. Tengeko from Haiga to Minis. Minister of Development and Child Support, Vavale, Davos, all the provinces, the same way you brought people from all over to discuss the Zambian constitution, you can bring young people to discuss the current affairs of Zambia. That is all. That is my appeal to you. So, God bless our leaders. We accept that all authority is given by God. Absolutely. And we will never insult you because we can't even insult ourselves. We can't even insult ourselves asking you to consider the future of this nation that is all and to appeal to you that don't divide us you cannot call one person to at state house to talk to one person why are you talking to one person but when you were condemning the youths you didn't condemn one person you condemned all of us why didn't you condemn everybody well i mean why didn't you invite all the people you condemned that would have been the right leadership thing to do to be the right thing that's what we teach in team building that's what we teach in reconciliation if we're talking about genuine reconciliation mm? so in ai eh, in a notical state house in the watching point i will just be there staring at bitengo what 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 call me at a nice place all over town center tinga kumane eh, call me at the government complex nakatindi hall we can meet all over airport round but not state house i'm not coming to state house personally you can call others but i just feel it is not the right thing to call one person you go and discuss he comes out issues a press re release now you issue a press statement and even the two statements are differing somehow uh -uh. in a just palwandi the way i was raised that's not how problems were solved in my home me the way my father used to solve problems you who was insulted who come here you has been insulted, come here. So you repeat. Then when you repeat the insult, you're even beaten for being that at the end of the day, our father would say, hug each other, go and play. Your brother and sister. That is how I was raised. And that is what I expect from our parents who are in government and leadership. Zambians love you. Zambians want the best for our leaders. There is no Zambian who sits and prays for a body a good economy we and we want jobs for the youth we want security but right now i can tell you as for me Mubita, now let me not speak for other youths me i'm threatened my life is threatened i'm telling you zambians if anything happens to me you know what who threatened me you know who threatened me that's all i can say you see but to start calling individuals to state house no youths don't even want to come to state house youths just wants jobs so god bless you and uh yeah that's it have a good day and thank you very much god bless you bye